Welcome back to Frontier for potentially a pivotal episode. Number five with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's October 2. We got our finances sorted out the last episode. I was out by a couple of thousand. Money has gone up though. There's a reason for that. Today could be the day. We shall see. I could become a citizen. We've cleared everything. And in clearing everything, I found some more ore. I was only saying the last episode. I think that's all your. Nope. I found another full load, 20,000 litres worth. And a little bit. The little bit we're going to leave. I've got a full trailer, but we have cleared everything that we were set to clear. I have also, through part of yesterday, the rest of October 1, I got on with that sugar beet harvest I took on. I haven't finished yet, I've still got more to do. Been a bit of backwards and forwards with that. But, we are clear all the way to the bridge. Now this is one of those weird things you'll see in a little while when we get onto what we're going to get onto. Where, <laughs> it was one of those you stop and you think, why didn't I think of that? And why didn't I do it sooner? Like I say, it'll make more sense in a little while. Um, <laughs> I literally, bucket load after bucket load after bucket load. And again, I didn't mind doing it. I was clearing it. I was making the money doing it. I think all of that, down to the bottom there, and out to there, we made 19,000. Again, it wasn't a lot of money. On the scale of things though, 19 grand to 19 grand. Um, this, 20,000 litres worth, there was a couple of seams, one around here and then one a little bit further along, actually quite close to the road, just along there. So, that's it, that's that's it done. This plot of land is cleared. Like, so there's a little bit on the ground there, but I'm leaving that for whoever comes next. So this needs to be taken and sold, which we're gonna do which will put the money up a little bit more and I'm very happy for that but oh blimey okay um, I'm glad this is only rented because I've destroyed the suspension on it so we're going to head down here now what I'm going to be doing in this episode um, we're going to get the sugar beet done I have taken on a bailing contract I've taken it on because of the equipment provided and I thought there was some cool stuff I wanted to try however there's a problem with it but this episode is more about um, community support, I think we'll call it. Community support and helping out and providing solutions to problems. That's what we're doing. Problem solving. Actually, I shouldn't have come across it. But anyway, as you can see, we've cleared a fair bit of this. So I'm going to need to finish this off. But also, I mean, it's, it's still technically community support. Um, I wanted some massive shout out to Stuart, massive shout out to Feldin, and a massive shout out to Farmer Marnew. Farmer Marnew is a fellow detectorist. That will become apparent in a little while. Um, honestly, today's this episode could be just this is the turning point. I think we should be absolutely golden on this. Um, I need to finish this off. So I'm just thinking, what order should I do this in? I keep just wanting to hire a worker, but again, the rules, the rules of engagement state. <laughs> Until I'm a citizen, I can't. I, I, I know I keep saying it, I know I keep harping on it, people got, keep asking me, and people get asking me as well how, how I've set it up that that's the case. I haven't, that's just how I'm doing it. Um, I am, like I say, I'm on multiplayer. A lot of my Let's Plays recently have been on multiplayer. It gives me the ability for, as I've been doing, for paying other people money which you would do on multiplayer so if I have to pay the authority anything that's how I do it if they need to pay me anything that's how I do it but as far as the rules go those are rules I've set myself I've imposed those on myself the last two episodes what I have found and the mod review I did the other day I have been enjoying it so much and talking so much as I'm doing now um, each one of those episodes I had nearly 90 minutes of footage that I needed to edit down to 60 minutes to do it from PlayStation onto um, onto YouTube. 
editing it down, that's why you'll probably find the last episode on here was a little bit choppy here and there, um, because I, I had to cut massive chunks out. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take this, I'm not going to show me driving all the way out there and dropping it off, you've seen me deliver there before, out to the metal and limestone factory, so we're going to take this out and drop it off so the money will go up a little bit. Um, then we'll get back and we'll get that sugar beet contract done. Well, I say done. We'll start it anyway. And then what I'll do, I might do the... No, I'm not actually. I'm going to drive back and I'm going to show you the thing I want to show you that Farmer Man, you fellow detectorist, um, suggested. I'm glad that he did. And then we will get on to later on. Yeah, well, you'll see. It's it's um. It's going to be interesting. Oh, this is one of those maps that you know you, you there's an element of you've just got to go with it it's like with anything you know if you're following if there's a storyline if there's a narrative if there's a you know you just just go with it it's not like i say it's not supposed to be all you know absolutely spot on and it just it's just supposed to be fun i know i know i keep saying that as well but it is that's the point how about that map though close to home if you haven't watched the map tour on that wow what a map um this was up there i said this is one of the best maps for me personally that i think with everything on here all the options all the things you can do just wow the detail the, the, the clever idea the way the maps the la laid out but close to me a whole different view and take and look on everything so yeah go and check that out that's pretty cool so that's done. Oh, so we need to go. We're back out to here again. Now I have got the property owner's permission. That was done already. Farmer Man, you suggested something. Now it does say in the description about um, digging. And when I was doing the map tour and I said I'd found one beeping, if you watched the map tour, it was up at the mine. And to get to it, I had to shovel away all the stone once I shoveled away all the stone, I got to it. Now this one over here was causing me some consternation because I couldn't work out how to get to it. And, and it wasn't working. And I showed us going on to the Transitional Authority. They bought the land. Then I couldn't sell the land back because there's property on it, which would mean get rid of the property. And I didn't want to do that. But Farmer Man, you said, what about digging? And I said, I mess you, I said, well, what? I, I can't dig. Not digging, but landscaping. And I thought, oh, that's an idea. So we came out and we, in inverted commas, we dug. Um, I know it's quite loud and it is beepy, um, but we went and grabbed our shovel back from the store. We dug the hole out. So we've got some earth here. We dug the hole out and we uncovered the bottom of it. That top bit is just a marker, I think. But when I did the other one, like I said, when I did the map tour and I kind of first worked out how this would all work, that entire thing was buried under stone. So all I did was dug the stone out, didn't really think anything of it. So, what should happen <laughs> is now, when we go to it, because it's uncovered completely, I should be able to collect it. <laughs> Fifteen barrels buried, five hundred thousand, but it's a treasure. Under the rules of metal detecting, being a detectorist, that has to be registered. Now I could just not register it, but I don't think I'll get away with that. It has to be registered. Now, as I said, we may get rewards, property owner. There's normally a fifty-fifty agreement. That might be the case, or if the authority takes control. Who knows what's going to happen when, when governments get involved in this sort of thing. So I'll turn the lights out. So, um, yeah. I knew it would happen. I just knew it. I didn't hang about. It's because I'm tacked. That's what it is. Money's gone. This was an information sharing exercise. I may get um, 
I may get a reward, I don't know. So for those people that, as soon as I hit the 500,000, went, oh, I'm not watching anymore, I'm unsubscribing, it's ridiculous. I said this would happen. Rules of being a detectorist. So the money has gone, I may get a reward, I may get something back. It may be a percentage, it could be 50%. I've got a funny feeling it's not going to be 50%. Um, but just to show you that it yeah, wasn't broken, it was possible to get to it. Thank you, Farmer Manhu. Um, I can't believe I've just been caught. <laughs> it's like Animal Rescue, look. Animal Rescue. I'm glad they didn't set the dogs on me, that would have been a bit... Anyway, that's where we stand with that. I need to go and do some sugar beet work. Not being arrested, that's a good thing. Don't know how long it's going to take to process, but we'll see. I'll leave them to fill the hole. That really was just truly an exercise in information sharing. That was just to, because I did say, I thought, you know, maybe there'd be an update or something. I hope there's not an update. Oh, blimey, can you imagine? I think I, this is one of those maps I, I would cry. <laughs> there's an update. The amount I've done and the amount I've cleared, I, w I would cry. Um, yeah, but, but because of the idea or the message that I received, I thought I'll try it. But I thought I'll share that because then it's that thing of you can see that it can be retrieved. It wasn't a... So some of them may need to be dug out. Some of them may require landscaping, but they can be they can be re retrieved. This is um, this has taken some time. It was um, a bit of a labour of love, but we haven't got that much left to do. It's going to take a little while still, but we'll get it done. Down the downside <laughs> again. Um, It's a difficult one to can, to explain, really. I um, there's different ways of tackling this sort of thing, and, I, and I've kind of mentioned it before. In, in that, with a lot of the new stuff that's available, that's out there, um, with different speeds, different capacities, stuff like that. Um, if you're playing as I am on console, and then you're setting things up and you're doing things, and, and especially when you're making videos or doing what I'm doing do something like this you know it was that case of before you know you might decide okay what I'll do off camera I'll lease multiple harvesters I'll get it done a lot quicker and you know there's there's all different ways around of doing it and obviously there's the um, the Colossus harvester pack you know so it's that thing of do you stay true to yourself and say you know what no I'm gonna do this the same as clearing the dirt using the bucket the 3500 litre bucket I chugged away and chugged away and chugged away. Like I said, we're now up to 30... I can't remember how many hours we're up to now. Um, it's a lot. And um, you just kind of, you kind of just chug away. You get on with it and think, no, you know, I'm going to do it properly. Could I have done it another way? Of course I could. I, you know, I, I could have grabbed a couple of... Well, one of those. I could have grabbed one of the Colossus Beat Harvesters. The super duper all singing all dancing massive capacity 43 or 46 mile an hour one i could have done all this in 10 minutes 20 minutes i don't know whatever it is it would have been certainly less than a few hours um and it all comes down to you personally how you want to tackle it so again if you want to stick to this and do it how it should be done and again we're, we're back to that conversation about i'm running two day months again each day represents 15 days because if two days is a month, one day is half the month, 14 days, 15 days. Something along those lines. So the fact it's taken me since... Just trying to go in a straight line. No! Um, yeah, so technically, since yesterday, whatever time it was, I finished and left you, and I think it was lunchtime, which wasn't it? So you're looking at sort of real world time, 
10 days or something it was taken which I don't know if it would have filled this size with sugar beet halves so it probably wouldn't take 10 days it might take a, you know, a few days but so if you want to go down this route you can if you don't and you want to you just say to yourself oh you know what I want to get it done again there's options there's all sorts of stuff which is going to become relevant you know in a while and when I say in a while I have received my final memo my final piece of information I have applied for my citizenship as you know it's under review it's under review because I've done the job they asked me to they gave me that plot of land and they said clear it well say clear it of all the dirt and anything that was on the land your was a bonus um, that was what that was that was my remit so I've done that now as it turns out that was a test the test was resilience perseverance could I stick to a job would I do it reliably would I do it effectively could I be a useful citizen in the whole realm of what we're doing that was the point of the task um, and I said I wasn't sure what was going to happen what has happened is I've got one more task to do and it's a biggie but this is also another information sharing consumer related support help situation and this comes off the back of messages from Stuart and Felton and a few other people I think people have commented various different things everyone's been super helpful which is absolutely great um, but those guys were like Johnny on the spot and um, as I said <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of it and I could have done that's why I'm talking about this doing this and doing it in different ways the same as picking up the dirt now if the dirt is a problem and I showed you one way of doing it in a previous episode where I said you could use the landscaping tool and you can just texture over it and you can get rid of it um, there is another alternative it will still take a little while but not as long so if you're finding it's frustrating and you, and you don't like it it can be removed um, there's, a few, there's going to be a few ways of doing it I'm going to talk about a couple of different ways one that I'm going to use and one that you can use one will be more effective than the other and it will make more sense so my final task is the biggest dirt moving project ever I mean it's just the scope of it is colossal and I'm not going to be paid for it either this is a final task once I complete that final task I get my citizenship that is the deal that is written down there's no more moving the goalposts once that is done I am done I did start to say the reason this has been taking quite a long time as well again unrealistic size trailers that kind of stuff could have been used the trailer I've got as part of this contract is a 40,000 litre trailer and as you can see when this fills up this goes to 40 42,000? I'm trying to think how many it is. Um, so it's been a lot of battles and forwards to the grain elevator up to the north, up towards up by the construction site where we'd where we take all the dirt. Um, so yeah, now this also reminds me that kind of extended moving the goalposts kind of thing. It's a test of um, it's a test of perseverance, resilience more than anything else. That ability to bounce back to be flexible to be um to have that man's mentality of you know what fine okay i thought this was where this was going to end it hasn't have i got enough in me to just pick myself up and carry on going and about to say that reminds me of there was a brilliant series i watched a few years ago about the royal marine commandos um there was i've watched ones about the parachute regiment about the p company and all that kind of stuff um and what they did I don't think it was the 30 mile. The 30 mile is a different one. I think it was just during the training phase, not through the actual qualification phase. Um, but they do um, a long distance march with kit and equipment and all that kind of stuff. And they're all absolutely exhausted. And they got the big old, I mean, they always used to be the Bedford four tonners, but they're not Bedford four tonners anymore. Um, but the transport vehicles are waiting up on this hillside little car park so these guys have been I mean they're they're yomping they're carrying you know carrying cathedrals on their backs big stuff you know. and as they approach the car park 
which is the final point they get to. They get loaded up into the wagons, they head back, hot meal, shower, job done. The wagons drive away, over the brow of the hill, gone. At that point, some of the guys on the course quit on the spot. Dropped their Bergens, dropped their packs and said, I'm done. This is, this is ridiculous, I'm not, I can't do this, I'm not doing it, I'm done. And quit. Bang. And, it, and that was simply what the test was. It was to see that, because, you know, in a real world scenario, if you're completing a mission, if you're on tasking for something and something goes wrong, or your pickup doesn't arrive, or you pick up a helicopter and get shot down, or and then you get told, look, I know you're expecting to be picked up, I know you're expecting this was going to be the situation, but it's not. This is now the situation, you've got to hoof it out on foot. Have you got what's left in the tank, or to find reserves to just go, right, okay, let's just keep going. And what was really, really unbelievable, and again, proved the point of that phase, the wagons had literally gone over the brow of the hill, they were about a quarter of a mile away. So all the guys that were left went over the brow of the hill, there were the wagons, they get in, they load up, they go back. All the guys that had quit, they were done. It, it was It's that kind of heartbreaking thing of, I can't believe that, but it's a really valuable lesson. It's not the no-win scenario thing, and that's a slightly bit different, but it is that test of resolve, that test of, have you got the grit? No, wrong one. Turn this one off. Go outside. So yeah, quite scary really. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this out and drop this load off. Um, I'm going to show you what our final task is. Um, and like I say, the, the biggest earth moving project. Um, and the deal with this is, I don't get paid, but what I do get paid is citizenship. Um, and you'll see why that will be relevant. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to think now, should I refuse citizenship and just take the payment? Um, but then again, I'm in that situation. It's all well and good having the payment, having the money, but I can't do anything with it. I think I've come the wrong way, haven't I? And I can drive up beside this field. Um, so I'll see you in a minute. There's a couple of things I want to show you. I said I took on the bailing contract. And there's something curious about that. I'll show you that as well. Um, and I've got to make sure I don't overrun time-wise because uh, editing out all these bits where I'm chatting away. And that's what, again, that's what I've been enjoying this. I've been enjoying the chatting and the talking and doing stuff while I've been doing jobs. And I get to edit it all together. I put my footage together and think, oh, my days. I was, you know. So, and like I say, this next one is a kind of go with it simply because, as same as what I just did there with pick up, I'm not going to get paid. This is not me stitching up the game this is not me trying to pull a fast one this is me showing you a way of resolving this issue if you find it an issue if you don't it's not a problem that's not a problem but it could help you solve a problem so look at it from that respect it doesn't matter about the how we're back to the science thing the Oppenheim thing aren't we <laughs> this is more about the end result we're the other way around don't worry about the how don't worry about the, what we're going to do to get there. It's the result that's more important with this one. So I'll see you in a minute at the store and let's have a chat. As I'm leaving here, that came up saying 95% transported, which is pretty good, um, which actually has now just given me a nefarious thought. <laughs> um, it revolves around, we're going to play the system. Not on the next bit, but on the harvest contract. The rules laid down. Until I'm a citizen, any contract I undertake, two thirds goes to authority, I get to keep a third. Until I'm a citizen. Once I'm a citizen, I can buy land, I can buy equipment. Um, if I take on the contract, contract and everything is all mine. So, I've got a choice now. If I take on the job they've said I've got to do, to prove my worth to the authority. If I complete that first and get citizenship and then complete the sugar beet harvest, everything off the sugar beet harvest is mine. The full payment and the sugar beet. I was just going to take a third of the payment and the sugar beet. But, hmm, 
This is the bathing contract. Now, what I was going to talk about with this was, I wanted to use this. I wanted to use the reform. So I thought, that's pretty cool. That comes with all this stuff. What I am going to do, because I've got a bit of money, though, I am going to lease an auto stack round bale trailer, because, like I said, I did use those. They worked all right, and I got better at it, but they take a while. Here's the problem. This has got a front three-point link. Awesome. We can mow. I can't Ted, and I can't win row. Because it's got no three-point link on the back. It's got a trailer hitch. And because it's borrowed from the farmer, from the authority, I can't change it, I can't adjust it or amend it. I can hook up the baler, albeit mm, it will hook up, but the PTO won't attack, so technically that shouldn't run. So that was the equipment I was given, which actually is not fit for purpose. My option potentially... Oh, I tell you what I could do... I could lease one of the palleted three-point links you know, the, you know, that you can hook onto a, a hitch. That might work. They shouldn't be too expensive. Anyway, so that's that's a later down the line thing. That's to worry about later on. But I just wanted to show you that I, I was that, that kind of, oh, excitement, let's try it out. Let's give this a go because that's really cool. Um, but it's not going to work. So, which brings me on to this. It's that frustrating thing of the authority had this gear all the time. Which proves that all of what I did was a test. It was a big test of my resolve and me, my personality, my character as a person. So, we've got a big old magnum. This isn't mine. Should say there. Look, rented by Transitional Authority. It's not mine. Front forage pickup. The lizard forage pickup. That's important. And behind, this is using new quantum superposition technology. This is part of the Schrodinger series of trailers. The reason being that anything going into here, any matter going into here, can either be there or not be there all at the same time. It could be in this dimension, reality, or another reality all at the same time. This should hold a certain amount, but could it hold more? Could it hold less? Schrodinger and quantum superposition technology. Oh yes, this has got quite a large capacity, a very large capacity. Now... Pick up the dirt around the map. It was suggested, Feldin said to me. Um, had you thought about using the Sadie that I used on Carpathian? I said I hadn't. And he said it works. Problem with the Sadie is you need to own the land. Um, I did say that when you when you're doing the landscaping, that if you want to get rid of all the earth by using the landscaping tool, you need to own the land to be able to do that. Which is fine. This, however, the reason this works, if you're doing a harvest contract that leaves straw on the ground, and I've done it many times, I did it on Edgewater, the beauty with this is, this allows you to pick up things off land you don't own. That's where this becomes very important. So, when you're doing a harvest contract, it's not your field, you don't own it, you've got equipment you've borrowed, or your own equipment, you do the harvesting and you leave a straw swath behind. Now, normally you can't do anything with that on console. You can't touch it. However, if you grab this forage header pickup, you can pick up the straw swath and put it into a trailer and take it away because it allows you to pick up from land you don't own. See where I'm going with this? Now, like I say, this is one of those, yes, it's not going to be realistic. Yes, you might think, oh, that's ridiculous. That's why, one, I'm not being paid for this. So this is going to be... I'm not going to do this and get however much we're going to get off this. This is to do it as quickly as possible, to clear the land as, as quickly as possible, to finish this job off, and also uh, to show you another way of potentially, if you're finding the um, the earth, the, the dirt on the ground, if you're finding it frustrating and you want it gone, this is another way around of doing it. Um... Listed in the description, these are both Mac Trucker 921 mods. That was the one that I reviewed the other day. The 40 foot auto load with, with various different options. And that's the um, the case IH, is it 300, 400 series FL, and then the front thing. So you'll see the worker that was working on behalf of the county, county, the authority before has already put some in this. We do pipe out. 
put our lights on. Now I'm only going to use this. I'm not going to clear all of the dirt from everywhere, but I am going to clear it from areas and places where if you are commuting, if you're driving from place to place and you're finding you're getting bogged down, if you're finding it's slowing you down, again, if you're just finding it's a frustration, um, this could and should work. Let's just say it worked on the bit. <laughs> it has been tested. Um, now I'm thinking... Um, I really hope this works now because I've picked this up and I'm... So, I don't own any of this land. We have got dirt on the floor. Now I can... See? So that trailer behind me has quite a large capacity. This is still going to take a while. Don't get me wrong, because the pickup width on this isn't massive. And there's going to be bits, if I drive over it, it, it might not like it all the time. But, as you can see, land I don't own, and we are removing the earth. I can probably lower that if I want to. I'm just worried about a drag on the ground. And because I'm doing this on behalf of the authority, because the equipment is leased by the authority, when I come to unload this, I won't get any pay for this. I'm not going to get paid for this. This is, this is for me to get my citizenship. That's the only reason I'm doing it. And also because I think... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, there are certain areas, I think, and certain roadways that I think... I say need to be cleared. They don't need to be cleared, but I want to clear them. Like I say, if this helps anybody else out, if anyone else thinks, oh, actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. It's still going to take a little while, but it's going to be by far the quickest solution to it. And by using a trailer like this, the Schrodinger series of trailers, um, you haven't got to keep going backwards and forwards to unload. You can get a whole ton in before you get to a point where you're going to have to unload it. So... That's what we're going to be doing. Once this is done, how much am I going to clear? Quite a lot. Um, the main roads out to some of the productions. I'm not going to drive around the entire map once I'm done and show you. This is set to hold a million litres. And I'm going to say this now. I reckon we're going to fill this multiple times. Um, I've just got a funny feeling. I haven't cleared all that back there, but I will go back and do some more. So like I say, this is, this is my job. Um, now, the reason I was being cryptic earlier was because uh, when Feldin messaged me and Stuart messaged me and said when I was clearing all the roadway, had you thought about using... I d my brain went, oh, uh, no. Because I know this picks up straw and, uh, and other stuff and it, it didn't occur to me that it would be able to or set up to pick up dirt and sand now I'm not going to be going outside and picking up sand you do have to be careful as well because the actual I found this sometimes with doing straw if you pick up an errant bit of grass or hay I think um, if you catch stones or a bit of ore with this it will put a little bit of ore in the front and you have to reset it which is a bit of a pain unless you have a separate trailer you can unload it into um, this does pick up ore as well um, and it does pick up stones as well, which I'm, so I'm not going to go into huge detail about what that potentially could mean on here. But considering you can pick up from plots of land you don't own. Anyway, like I say, this is not about me. I know people can do that whole, oh, you're just teaching people to cheat. I'm not teaching people to cheat. This is just a, you know, this is potentially a way of getting rid of the earth it's just information sharing that's the only reason i'm doing it and that's another reason why i've decided i'm not going to be paid for this you know if i if even at 90 whatever it is 95 94 97 for a thousand liters which when you're doing you know bucket loads or you're doing a 8,000 litre trailer or a 20,000 litre trailer it's not a huge amount of money and it's a lot of backwards and forwards and it's a lot of work if you empty a million liters at 94 95 it's a fair bit of money so that's why I'm not. It's 
2.52 in the afternoon. I started this off at 8.53 in the morning, running at normal time. I didn't post this video yesterday, today is Saturday, Friday I didn't post it, six hours. So when I said biggest earth moving project ever, and if you want to clear this map, even using this, which holds a million litres, it took me six hours. It's a lot of work. And I did clear more than I intended to originally. So I did clear a bit more. We'll throw the drone up in a minute. We'll have a look, if you know what I mean. Um, now, as far as what I said earlier on, that I wasn't going to get paid for this. This is part of my citizenship deal. Had I been paid for this, by shifting all that dirt and selling it, this million litre container, I couldn't get to fill up. You, you can fill it up from different sources if you're unloading into it, that kind of stuff. You can fill it with a million. Using this, it reached a point where the, the um, pipe adjusts in the trailer. And it reached a point where it wanted to put into the trailer over this side, but the pipe sits over to this side, if you can see. It's this side. Um, if I reversed, it would go in. If I drove forward, it wouldn't. I think the most I managed to get into it was 749,000 litres. Was the most I managed to get into that. I delivered... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 loads. 11 loads, totalling... 6,598,000 litres of dirt. When I said, oh, I think I'll probably get a million. 6,598,000 litres. And I haven't cleared all of it. There's still more in the woodlands. There's still more on the map. I haven't cleared all of it. Totaling, if you notice top right, we're on the um, authorities account. They're in the 9 millions. They're up to 10,376,478 it totaled 606,928 dollary dues um, for all that earth move. So when you think six and a half million litres for on only 606,000, if you did 6.5 million litres of soybean or, you know, just think of the money involved, or if I'd done six million litres of ore, um, but I've made them 606 grand. So now's the point, if I get told I'm not getting citizenship, I'm joining the fight, man. <laughs> Solidarity, brothers. Interspersed with doing that, I did do some more sugar beet harvesting. Because I got to a point, I thought, okay, my eyes were going, I was a bit like, well, I glazed over. And, um, and I forgot to record it. But, oh, this keeps happening. Right. Normally, if you rent the train, you get the train. When you let the train go off, it goes round and round and round and round and round and round. At the Islarry. And once it goes past the crossings, the crossings come back up again and away you go. What I have found recently is the train keeps stopping just there. And when it stops there, those barriers won't go back up again. I don't know why it's doing it, why it stopped doing its route around. So what I was doing was jumping on here, renting the train, literally just rent train. Come on. And then send it off again. Then it will go and do another route, but it seems to do one lap round, then stop again. So once that moves away from there, those barriers will open, traffic will start to flow, all good. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's been doing that. So, you'll see partially what I've done already. If we turn our lights on, I can't believe it's nearly three o'clock. Look, all the dirt, the tracks can be driven on. I've done, honestly, so much. But, yes, it's taken me pretty much an entire day. You think of going to work for the day doing an eight hour shift at work. If you might do 12 hour shifts or 10 hour shifts, or, but if you, you think of a normal work day of being eight hours, six, six hours, 
of clearing dirt. I know I'm this a computer game, it's not I'm not down a coal mine, I'm not, you know, oh come down the one. Um So like I say, we'll chuck the drone up in a moment. But yeah, I, I did the sugar beat. I thought I was recording, I also, I just didn't, I, I don't know what happened, it all went to pieces a little bit. But when I left you, we were at 95% complete and I set the harvester off. It's not like I've done tons and tons of loads, I've got one full load of 40,000 litres next to the harvester, I've moved it all over here. And then what's left in the harvester was the rest of the field. So that's all that was left. It was 40,000 litres, then we've got in here 31,689. So whatever's left, we'll deliver the first lot, and then that's that's the dealio. But, like I say, I'm not doing that yet. Because I need to go to Frontier Security for my evaluation, appraisal. I suppose appraisal. Look, it's all everything's cleared. I've cleared over there, I've cleared oh so much of it. Actually you know what, we'll do it now. Let's jump out, chuck the drone up. So let's whiz along here. So all around here. I'm not gonna show you the whole map, but all of this, all of that track that runs all the way around the back there. We've done all of this one. That one we'd already done. I don't have a home anymore, that's the other thing as well. That land's been taken back by the authority, so I don't even have a tent. I've got nothing. All the way down here. All of this. Now I had to be careful, because there are areas like this where there's rock. Um, so there's a little bit of dirt there, and there's areas where there's ore, so I had to be careful. All of this farmyard here cleared, because it was all the way around here, there was tons of it. This track all the way out to there. This track... Uh, I didn't go all the way up the hill there, I just sort of did a little bit there. All the way through here and out the other side. So all that's been cleared. From the bridge this way, I cleared all the way over the top. Down to here, and I have to be careful here because this is where there's a whole load of ore and it, it picks up the ore. Same thing this side, I kind of did there, I did a tiny little way up there, didn't do all of that. Then did all of this. It's because we're at the edge of the map, that's why it's doing that. So we did all this, I did it all around the back of there, I did all down the inside of that cell point there. I've done all up here. The road that runs alongside the curtain wall all the way down there has been done. I've done all round here. I've done the sawmill yard, I've done the animal dealer yard. I've done the track that leads all the way down here. Um, I've done... All around the back of here, this yard here and down here, all of that. So yeah, cleared an absolute load, but there are still some of the forestry tracks that have got any. So if at any point you've got a, not that you have a contract, but if there's a production or something that requires dirt, so there's still some on the map, I have left some. Uh, did all up here, because this one joins onto the track that comes down from the animal dealer. I might have left it a little bit here. And then I did this track. I didn't do all the way over the top of there. I stopped there. So I say some of these I haven't done. And then this track over the top. So I thought if I get any farm of uh, like contract work or I decide to buy any of these fields, I might want to use this as an access road. So I cleared this as well. So as you can see, oh yeah, this farmyard was full as well. I've cleared all of this to make ease of access. It's just all a little bit easier, you know. Um, where else do we do? Oh, this track that runs around the back here and takes you out through to this bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. We did a fair bit. So, off to Frontier Security. Interview. Actually, while I'm in there, oh, should I ask? I should say, you might ask about my, um, my reward. <laughs> or do I'm pushing my luck there. Considering I've just made them 606 grand, you think, you know, we wouldn't know it, would it? Just, you know, a little bit of a reward. Just to say thank you. <laughs> Thanks for all your hard work. Here's your citizenship card and a bit of walking around money. And then we will, um, we'll finish 
sorting out that sugar beet. It's been um, it's been emotional. <laughs> like uh, like I say, it, it's it's a quicker way of clearing it, but it's still not quick. I mean, I I, don't, I can't think of another way. I mean, potentially, I guess if you did the landscaping, but you've got to be careful when you're doing the landscaping. And you've got to own the land to do it. Like I said, it's it's um that but then becomes a lot of messing around around to buy land sell land make sure you don't mess up the landscaping with the landscaping tool and the painting tool and um i don't think there's an easy fix i think a lot of people just say you know what i'm not doing it i'm just i'm, I'm either not going to plan the map or i'll just accept the fact the dirt's there and, and sort of just accept it and deal with it um i don't know i can't park in front of new vehicles in case they need them the lights off Engine will be a good thing too. Fingers crossed. Now's the time. Twenty-five grand. Twenty-five grand. That's my reward. Five percent was the finder's fee. For some reason, those barrels, the authority are really, really interested in those barrels. I don't know what's in them. I don't know what's buried in them. Um, but, I mean, would I rather have had 500,000? Absolutely. Would I rather have a 50-50 split with the landowner and got 250 grand? Absolutely. But a 5% finder's fee, 25 grand. I'm not going to say no to 25 grand, am I? Of course I'm not. So, 25 grand. But in other news... I'm a citizen. We've done it. All the hours, all the work put in. It was worth it because now I can buy land. I can get a loan out from the bank if I want to get a loan out from the bank. I can buy vehicles and equipment. I still can't come and go as I please. I'm still monitored. Oh, talking about being monitored, do you want a SIM card? We've got an ID card. Look. Yeah. How cool is that? I'm still tagged. Everyone is tagged. You don't just get tagged when you're under, you know, when you've applied for citizenship. You're tagged just anyway. Everyone is. It's a bit of a, mm, I don't know, let's say. Is that a police state? Is that what I'm trying to put anyway. So... Doing it this way round... I told you. Nefarious. The nefarious Sealy P. Um, we need to go back out. Um, now if I complete the uh, sugar beet contract... I get full pay! I don't lose anything anymore. Any contracts to take on, I don't have to give two thirds to the uh, authority. I get paid everything. Yeah. Let's deliver this. Now I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, that this load completes the contract. There we go. Uh, I haven't done the bailing one, this one. Oh look, 99%. So. The contract is set at 99% and we've delivered 95% of the required amount. So, this should complete and we should get some money for this. And then there's what's left in the harvester. See? Up here for thinking, down there for dancing. I did, definitely did this the right way around. So I guess the next episode then, we're searching for a home. We need to look for some land. Do I just buy some land and build on it? Do I buy... Actually, have I got enough to... Oh, we'll, have to... we'll look in the next episode. I'm not going to start looking now. We need to get this completed. Um, do I buy... There's a couple of pre-existing farms. We've just driven past one. We've been driving past the other one a little bit. Do I turn my attention to the mining operation? I don't think I've got enough actually to buy that. Uh, I don't know. Do I turn my attention to mining? Do I... You know, look, the train stopped again. Which means those barriers are going to be down. Yeah, nothing can move. I don't understand why it keeps doing that. It only started doing it... It can't be because I've removed the dirt. Why would that have caused that problem? 
That doesn't make any sense. L3, L3. Come on. There we go. It's costing me a dollar every time. It's outrageous. I'll be claiming that back from the authority. Yeah, so I've got to decide what direction do I want to go in. Um, but like I say, also, I can now start buying equipment. Now, have I got enough money to buy land and equipment? I don't think I have. Do I want to keep any of the equipment I've got? Replace, I think. I, I might get... That XJ is working out perfectly. I mean, it worked out perfectly on a silver run. It's a, it's a brilliant bit of kit. I really do like it. Would I get one of the same colour and same options? Yeah, probably. Um... I might buy one of those lorries, but I might get a slightly higher horsepower. Again, I, don't, I haven't got a lot of, you know, whilst I'm sitting here on 279 grand, and I'm going to complete this contract, and um, I'll get paid for this, which is just going to be a nice chunk. It's going to take me over 300,000. The fact I need to buy land, or do I buy a plot of land out in the forests? There's no more dirt to clear, but there'll be trees I can clear, and there might be more ore. If I find a plot that's got some ore on it, that could be worth doing. Um, which, like I say, I don't technically own the mine, but I would have a load of ore, but I've got to work out a better way of getting that out, because... Mind you, if that... If the um, pickup header works, I need something that's a bit more flexible, a bit more off-roady. I've got a whole ton of options. I've got some decisions I need to make. What direction do I want to head in? That's not to say I'm not going to swing back around and come back to a direction that... I've kind of turned away from them initially because if I, if I say I'm not I'm still going to do farming contracts but if I did some mining first then came back to farming or do some farming then come back to mining do I buy some production chat dice there's so much to do on here I need to decide so I'm going to sell this all regardless I've got nowhere to store it so oh there we go boom straight away contract complete anything else I sell money in the pocket I'll go back grab the last bit So we'll clear 300,000 with what we've got off the, the um, field, and then there's the contract to complete, so we'll be up around 330. It, just, it does give us some options. I, I'm not sure actually what, if there's any land that we can get. I mean like, I mean like woodland. Um, if there's any woodland that it could be worth it if we can, because if we can get any more iron ore and sell the iron ore and bump our money up. I mean, that's a bit field flippy. I know I've done that before with woodland. Um, where well you pay for a permit, and that's a real life thing. I mean, you know, if you watch the, is it Kevin, Kevin Weintraub? Is it Big Lumber? I love that series, there's two series of that now, um, where they get a permit to clear patches of land. They don't own it, um, but they have to pay for the permit, and it's not cheap. They clear a big swath of land, and then they're done, they move on to the next one, they get the permit, but obviously they get all the lumber, they get, you know, they make the money from the lumber, and they've got a lumber mill and that kind of thing. Um, but the land's not theirs, so for doing logging and stuff like that, that's not unusual. Um, and the fact that this has got iron ore and stones on some plots of land, is that kind of bonus? I, I started talking about it in the previous episode, I don't know if I cut it out or not, I think I did. Um, talking about the fact that you've got to view it, that, it, that every plot of land is a resource. Even a plot of fa farmland is a resource, you're going to plough it, you're going to use it to harvest, you're going to do it, that's a resource. If the resource is the trees that's on it, that's the resource. And you buy a plot of land, you cut the trees down, and, you know, that's your resource. If the resource on that land is trees, and there's some iron ore scattered around, and there's some stones around, that's still one of the resources. I know people have been a little bit kind of, oh, yeah, but, you know, it's cheating, you're just, you're just grabbing iron ore off the ground. And I, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last episode. I might have done it. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. Um... But if I just bought a plot of land and did forestry, people wouldn't bat an eyelid. People would be like, oh, well, yeah, you're doing forestry, because that's what's on the land. So it's, you know, the iron ore, getting the iron ore off the land isn't straightforward. It's not like drive on, big pile, grab it, go. Um, it's, it's an absolute pain getting it out. But it can be done. Anyway, right, I'll see you when this is done. Um... Do I give all my leased equipment back? Because I'm going to start buying something. Or do I keep hold of it in case I need any of it for a while? Hmm. 
like I say, lots of decisions. Contract is complete. We are actually contract is complete, isn't it? Uh, so. Thirty thousand seven hundred forty-six, one thousand five hundred ninety-two lease cost, but we made some money on the gear, and that's all mine. I don't only get ten grand of that; I get all of it. Collect. Got that bailing contract to do. I think I worked out what was wrong with the train. I, I drove past just now, went to move it, clicked on um, rent train, then clicked off it to get it to move. And then I thought, oh, you know what I'm going to do, because it's just going to do a loop round, so then come back and stop. If I get in the train and drive it down the tracks out into the, the desert area and just leave it there, as I got into it and went to drive away, somehow, and I don't know how it happened, there was 317 litres of dirt on it. So it, what it was doing, it was doing a loop and it was coming back to the um, railroad silo to unload. Or, or to give you the option to unload, I guess. And I'm not quite sure how it got in there, unless when I was using that, um, the lizard forage um, pipe thing. As I went past, I picked up some dirt, or the train came past. Maybe it, it the, maybe the pipe moved and offloaded into the train as it went past. It's the only thing I can think of. If there are only to be 317 or whatever it was in there, it just seemed a bit strange. Um, so what I've got to do now is decide... Oh no, have I still got earth in the bucket? Oh yeah. I say, oh no, I can, I can sell it. I'll make about three dollars on it. That's cool. Um, I need somewhere to sleep tonight. I don't have anywhere. Um, pitch a tent somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> sleep in the pickup, I guess. Um, what I need is a roof tent. If someone could mod a roof tent that you can put on the top and... You can um, you can put on with straps or something. That'd be quite cool. <laughs> but we're done for this episode, and we're a citizen. We finally did it. We're there. 338 grand, nearly 339. Um, like I said, we have options. I need to look at those options in the next episode, and we'll see where we go from here. I genuinely mean this with this episode because obviously the couple of tips and tricks and things I've shown you mobile you might want to use them you might not I hope you found it useful and informative in some way shape or form I hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching